Hello and welcome. In this video, we will discuss the relevance and usefulness of more than 20 tanks, and we will find out if they are really powerful and if there are any worthy alternatives or analogs to them. The tanks will be presented in ascending order, but I do not recommend fast forwarding the video, as useful information will be spread evenly throughout the length of the video and our top tanks are represented by one of the best representatives of the first ranks, the M2A4 light tank of the USA. By clicking on the link in the description, you can get the premium version for free and forever, plus an additional light boat and plane, also from the premium segment, plus 100,000 silver, experience boosters, premium for seven days, two rental cars, decorations and backups. Register now and get the M2A4. Fast, rapid fire, and with decent weapons for early ranks, this tank would be nice to get for free, considering the increased multiplier of rewards per battle, like all premium vehicles. The armor, although thin in some places, only 26 mm, is sufficient for its rank and is positioned in such a way that you can play around with this little tank quite well, as much as possible, the main thing is to get used to it. I recommend everyone who has not yet leveled up much or is just starting to get acquainted with the game to choose this tank and exactly our link in the description, because it gives the best starting tank a pretty good plane and boat, as well as everything else I have already listed. However, if you click on the link right now, just change the language on the page and we will get the light tanks we want. In the game itself, neither the server nor the language will change. Everything will be in your native language. It will be useful up to the third rank. But if you want variety, then I recommend paying attention to the M4 Sherman at the second rank. A decent workhorse with pretty solid armor, namely its pitch ankles. Position the hull at a slight angle and you will live much longer, as the chance of a ricochet will increase many times over. The main weapon is not a threat to all creatures, but it will definitely make enemies nervous. Among the trios, I do not find any particularly outstanding representatives, so we go straight to the fourth rank. And here we have seven iron monsters. The fourth rank includes the IS-2 tank. Although it is considered a heavy tank, it has a hard time competing with other heavy tanks in terms of armor. I will immediately mention the strengths of this vehicle. It has a fast reverse, a cool weapon for its rank, and armor all around but the same advantages also have disadvantages. The armor is good, 100 millimeters around the turret, but it has a small slope of the plates and a weak front. The gun is strong, but it fires projectiles slowly. It also accelerates quickly forward and backward, but is slow to turn in place. To play comfortably on the IS-2, you need to find your own approach, and then the tank will show its best side. But for a mass player who plays with everything, it is unlikely to be suitable. It needs to be loved. Israel's fourth rank, M51. Sherman-based tank, but unlike the previously mentioned specimen, it is located two levels higher and here it is clearly difficult for him to bear all the burdens of fate, although this is the starting premium technology of Israel. Our M51 can please with the presence of smoke grenades, excellent armor-piercing cumulative ammunition, and due to the fact that this is starting equipment, it has three respawns and a fast reload. Anyway, it is still an old Sherman, weakly armored, not very maneuverable, and it swings its barrel like a dog's tail while moving. I think no one will argue that the Germans have some of the best tanks, and the first one I will show you is the Tiger II H of the fourth rank. It has everything, good reload, smoke, powerful cannon, and even quite decent maneuverability for a heavy tank. Not Formula One, but it will please. It is best used on large open maps so you can fully utilize the power of German artillery. And suddenly we jump into another weight class, BTR-3D. It is basically a cardboard car, but very fast and can cause panic among the enemies and serve as a light tank. You can try to board medium tanks. The chance of success is small, but it exists. The main goal of this BTR is to hunt other lights. Everything is fine here. You are a serious threat to them. Move between points, capture them and shoot down weak enemies. If you enjoy this type of gameplay, then you should consider purchasing this armored vehicle. T-34, legend among legends. A heavy tank with a very powerful cannon, armor, and one of the best survivability rates in the game. For its combat rating, it is the top predator. Its only weakness is the long reloading time. But even then, it is not completely defenseless, as three large caliber machine guns can threaten weak points such as hatches and even the barrel. 
The tank is the first line of attack and defense, and as for a heavy tank, it is very mobile. And from the Soviet tank, we switch to the French tank, specifically the Premium Panther. The Universal tank is strong in attack, but weak in defense. The armor on the tank's turret is very weak and is the most vulnerable spot, especially to aircraft and top-down attacks. The sides of the tank can pass most projectiles, but the frontal armor is excellent. The strongest aspect of this tank is its weapon. Penetration, ballistics, and turret rotation speed are what many players love and choose the Panther for. BMP Martyr The highlight of this tank is its mobility, as it can accelerate forward up to 76 km per hour as well as backward so you can move in both directions at the same speed. And the main weapon here is the ATGM with a penetration of up to 550 millimeters of armor. But you can only shoot it while standing in one place, and there are only four of them. So you have to drive to the spot many times and reload the ammo. Mouse, one of the most meme and popular tanks in War Thunder. Just a big heavy barn with an equally big and heavy cannon. If we draw analogies, then Mouse is an icebreaker that just moves forward slowly and relentlessly, breaking down the enemy's defenses in front of it. The only weak spot of this monster is the gap underneath the cannon. If you can hit it skillfully, you can even get a one-shot kill. Until you hit it there, crush and break everything in your path. The main thing is to have enough time to get there, because the maximum speed is only 20 km per hour, both forward and backward. Another interesting tank, a mixture of a mouse and a tiger. What makes it interesting? Well, the fact that people are willing to buy it at auction for 2,000 Gaijin coins, and one coin is one dollar. This tank can only be obtained through tournaments, that's why it has such a high price. And there is no point in talking about it because almost no one has it anyway. In short, it's the same mouse, but with a more protected hull. Personally, I don't understand why it's needed in the game, but a lot of people are longing for it in their garage. Probably not because of its technical characteristics, but because of its rarity. Soviet Heavy Tank IS-7 The promotional model, which is worth about 1.5 thousand Gajin coins on the exchange, which is about $1.5 thousand dollars, you can access the stock market through this in-game menu, it is called, then simply adjust the search filters for the product you need and stock up as much as your budget allows. But in the case of promotional equipment, it is more difficult. It may not be available for sale at the moment, so use the War Thunder wiki to find the tank you are interested in, and there will be a stock exchange button that will take you directly to the bidding for it. Here you can see the price and how many people want to buy it. This can be done for any equipment. Now as for the IS-7, you can get it in your hangar by participating in the Operation Summer promotion. At the same time, it is IMBA and not. The angles of inclination of the armor and the engine compartment will protect the crew excellently from these shells, and the 130mm gun with a reloading time of 10 seconds of the first volley will destroy the cabins of anyone who tries to oppose you. The only downside is the lack of a stabilizer, which makes it difficult to shoot while moving. But otherwise, it is a very cool tank, just not easy to get. Well, and there are a few opponents in its combat rating that can be a real threat, as they can literally penetrate anywhere. The other tanks are no threat to the IS-7 unless you hit the top hatch of the turret. How tired I am of saying this is a cool tank. But what can I do? The essence of the video is to gather all the best tanks in one place, so the T-64 should be here too. Playing with this rank of vehicles will be difficult and no mistakes will be forgiven. Shooting is carried out almost in a straight line without taking into account the trajectory, and everything is penetrated with one or two shots. The speed of the T-64's reverse movement is extremely low. All the important parts of the tank are located very close to each other. These are its main disadvantages, which are more than compensated by its advantages. Namely, turret rotation speed, low silhouette, high rate of fire, and excellent ballistics. Another good choice at this rank would be the Leopard TA-4. Its advantages include good turret protection, a reload time of only 6 seconds, fast turret rotation, and a cherry on top. Explosive panels. However, there is one specific drawback. Due to the tank's design, we cannot turn the barrel backwards, so you always have to face the enemy when exchanging shots. If they already have you flanked, you won't be able to defend yourself. There is also its older brother, the Leopard 2A6. It doesn't differ much, but the changes are quite noticeable in the game. In particular, the length of the barrel has been increased, which has led to an increase in range and initial bullet velocity, meaning the Leopard feels even more confident in its role as a sniper. 
The armor has also been slightly increased in thickness, making the tank four tons heavier, but this does not affect its speed and maneuverability at all. This tank variant will be the endgame technology that doesn't need much else after that. Tired of hearing about high ranks? That's life, what can we do? Ahead of you are the coolest and toughest tanks. For example, this big guy here. I'll tell you right now, it's extremely difficult to get, even through trade, because it costs as much as an airplane wing and is given out in tournaments once in a billion years. But it's extremely fun to play on. What else can I say about it? It's the largest caliber in War Thunder and probably one of the worst ballistics, considering the weight of the bullet. Just look at it. You fire one shot and kill two to three tanks standing nearby, assuming you hit. Many are also interested in BM Oplot. The whole village is waiting for it. It is also not known which nation it will be assigned to, but there is a realistic feeling that it will be the USSR, and they will add a branch of Ukrainian vehicles there. Subscribe to the channel, and as soon as it's available, we'll post a review so you don't miss it. And now, Challenger 2. Yeah, let's get right to it. Seventh place, and what can I tell you about it? A strong top representative of the British branch, which can compete with the Leopard 2 and the Abrams. It has a few vulnerable spots, but compensates with fast reloads and reverse speed, and overall has pretty good armor that could withstand a few direct hits, but only if it was a plate, as its sides are a bit thin. Night vision, laser rangefinder, thermal imager, all available, as well as the necessary equipment for this rank. And since I mentioned Abrams, let's take a look at what kind of beast it is. This top-of-the-line tank from the USA is a versatile vehicle suitable for any style of gameplay. You can flank the enemy thanks to its speed, engage in close combat thanks to its good maneuverability and durability, and as for the gun, I don't even want to talk about it because it's perfect. The only drawback is that it's impossible to fire from the rear, but in this level, an experienced tanker is unlikely to let an enemy attack from behind. In my opinion, it's the best tank and the one to aim for. Have you noticed how far we have come? From the old M2A4 to the modern Abrams tank? If only we could develop the branches in the game from the bottom to the top as fast. But be prepared to spend about a year in the game if you want to unlock a branch honestly and without donations. If anything, we have videos on our channel that will help you get it right. There are guides on various topics such as how to get golden eagles, how to level up your vehicles, and guides for beginners. Everything is made with the aim of getting bonuses through the link in the description. And if you follow these tips, surviving in War Thunder will become a simple and enjoyable thing for you, understood to the last detail. So follow the link in the description, register and get cool premium tank M2A4, and then use the premium and boosters you get for registering to upgrade your nation to more advanced tanks. In this video, I showed you what players start with in the USA and what they end up with. If you decide to upgrade to another nation, good luck, but I highly recommend America. They have some pretty nice tanks that will suit most players. The link for a comfortable start with three types of premium vehicles from different nations can be found in the description. There are also seven days of premium for accelerated experience farming and 100,000 silver for further development of the vehicle branch, all in the description. And that's it for now. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell to not miss videos. And believe me, there will be more. Good luck and bye.